everybody and welcome back to Evil Ted Live. In this episode, I'm going to be painting ta -da, Corbin Dallas's pistol from Fifth Element. The cool thing about this is was a little bit of a project I did with my friend Studio J7. He built a prop for me to paint and in return I built a prop for him. Uh, if you guys definitely want to follow him at Studio J7, I'll have the links for that below the video. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to take this guy and paint it up. Let's paint this bad boy. All right, there's the gun again. Look at the designs. We realized this needs to be silver. This is silver. It all comes wraps around, and this is silver. This I'll probably do with a brush, but everything else we're going to mask off. I went and got some poster board and made some templates to cover that circle. So we got that. Step it on. Lock that off, and I'm going to proceed to do some masking. I went out and got this up as frog tape. All right, all right, there it is. I got the majority of it all masked off. I have the edges that we know for a fact. This is going to be silver. This barrel silver, everything else is. So instead of using a lot of tape, uh, this is where the uh, plastic packing wrap comes in handy. You just take this guy and you cover a large majority of the area. And the cool thing about that too, again, is that it's not sticky or tacky and it won't destroy your paint job. So you can go on pretty heavy with this stuff. Now, of course, you see, you cover as much as you can, and of course, the big holes you go back in and cover with tape. So there's a big hole right here. But I love using this stuff because it just saves you a lot of time, and also you don't have to use so much tape. You want to use as less tape as possible so you don't want to pull off the pre-existing tape that you already have down. The gun is all masked and ready to be painted. We're going to be using Tamiya's uh, Chrome Silver. I'm going to be thinning this down with alcohol and applying it with the Badger Airbrush. I love this guy. So, this is all silver. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Now, this is pretty much airbrush ready, but I just I like to stretch it a little bit with a little dab of alcohol. Because I like to do a lot of thin coats opposed to one heavy one. But just a little. I don't want to go too crazy. Just a little bit. Like that. My cap on. All right, the acrylic paint is now dry. The next step I want to do is that it's a little trick I learned when I worked at the prop house. Um, I put the acrylic silver as a base color, and it looks good, but it's not as shiny as the spray enamel paint. And one of the tricks I learned. Is I got some chrome spray paint. This is just a Rust-Oleum bright chrome. Now the trick to this is you don't put it on heavy. You just dust on. It has lots of great little metal flakes in it. So what you do is you put down the silver as a base and you just dust it very lightly on top of the uh, silver acrylic and it gives it a shimmer without being too heavy. And it bites on top of the acrylic paint and stays on. But it gives it a little bit brighter shimmer. So it's a nice little, uh, little painting hack I learned. But the key is do not put it on heavy. You have to dust it on light. Because if you put it on too heavy, it'll just crack and fall off. So we're going to do that right now and go outside and dust this very lightly. Well, there it is. And you can hardly see, I know the light's so bright. It's uh, really reflective now. And again, I went very light. Just dust it. So that's done. I hit it with a hair dryer. Let me take the paint real quick. All right, we're going to very carefully Start demasking. You never want to pull sideways like this. You always want to pull along the same direction. That just takes out the tension so much. There we go. There it is. Look at that. The chrome, super reflective, but we still um, have to paint. I'm going to paint this with a brush, and this is silver. Uh, there's a button up here. We're going to paint this red. And also, I think the trigger here also is red, and there's a little bit of a stripe that goes down here, but I think we're going to probably do that with some tape. Uh, we're going to now paint this right back. This is all silver. On the edge now. Go around. 
Uh, my next trick is I realize the trigger, this little button here, it's actually uh, red, much like this. And I thought before I do the red again on this, I'm going to paint the trigger with silver paint first as a base. Therefore, the red will go on it easier because I just realized trying to paint this on a black was a pain in the ass. Unfortunately, I thought I had pinstriping. I do not, so I'm just going to do this old school with masking tape. There's the line. There's the stripe. And now I'm going to do some fix up uh, tape on really nice. And we're just going to paint very carefully. Before taking the tape off, let's hit this with the hair dryer. Wow, there it is. There's the silver stripe. Look at that. There it is. Corbin Dallas's blaster from Fifth Element. This was made by my friend in England, Studio J7. Did a great job. Um, I painted up. This silver looks great. The technique, the red button, red trigger, all this stuff is super awesome. Very happy. You know, one thing I want to do before we call it done to Maya, flat black. I'm gonna paint the inside of the barrel. While painting this reminds me of something. Back in the days when I made guns, I used to try to make the barrel look as real as possible. So it always like would drill out the foam and make it really deep. So when you looked in there, you couldn't see it. It looked really great. And that's because I got used to working on movies and props for film and television. But when you're doing something for a con, it's just good to, you know, if you have a spot ready, just paint it black. Therefore, when some people at cons are very kind of scary about weapons the more your gun looks like a prop sometimes people put a red plug in there or if they can just look and see it's a piece of foam and not a real gun usually just holding the gun is always good enough for me because you can tell it's foam but again just painting it black makes it look a little bit better especially for the illusion for a prop gun all right i'm calling this gun done Ta -da, there it is guys corbin dallas's pistol from Fifth Element. Again, this was built by my friend Studio J7 in England. You can follow him on Twitch as well. Uh, this ended up looking so much better. I, it's amazing what a paint job will do to a foam prop. I want to thank everybody for coming out and hanging out today. If you guys are watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. As a matter of fact, while you're at it, you can go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, and get on my mailing list. And you can look through my store. I have numerous patterns for sale. If you're new to cosplay, it's a great way to get started in building costumes. And I stream. This video you're watching right now is from one of my live streams. I do every Monday and Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Smith. Definitely check it out. This is great, guys. This is a blast. I had so much fun making it. Thanks for hanging out, and I will catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.